Hey guys, Steve with the Barker Spider Board Shop. Here with some great guys that happen just to pop in. Uh, my man Jake Hirsch and a friend of his from Australia, Mr. Michael Perry. What's going on? And sitting in for Dan Barrett is our uh, Rasta Nanan. Uh, as you guys know, Dan is on the West Coast and couldn't be with us, so sitting in for him is Rasta Nanan. <laughs> Michael Perry, they go by the name of Perry. How are you? I'm bad yourself. Uh, man, real good. Good to have you here today. Yeah, thank you. Uh, here with our good friend Jake Hirsch. Got some questions for you. Um, you're uh, 18 years old. Yeah. From Sydney, Australia. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Now I understand you have a uh, interesting stepsister. Yeah. Who I is do. it? Uh, my stepsister is Jessica Bowen. Um, a lot of people since I've been over here get really amazed for it. But yeah, she is my stepsister. Um, also, if you don't know who she is, the Apex Bowl bars. Those are her signature bars. Um, yeah. Boys, everybody wants. Yeah. His sister rocks them. Um, Perry, so uh, I understand you uh, used to be a skater. Yeah, I used to skateboard for probably four to five years. Um, and then I came across some knee injuries. I have Oscar Scalatin disease, which means I have no fluid in my knees. Save that five times. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. um, and then it was either keep skateboarding, get knee reconstruction, or choose a different sport. Chose bikes, didn't do anything for me for about a few weeks. <laughs> Doesn't do anything and for then, <laughs> And then just got into the scooter scene, um, just picked up from there. Yeah, probably che cheaper just to get a scooter than go into all reconstructed oh. surgery anyway. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that, well, what age was that? Um, I got into the scooter scene maybe late, age 13, early 14. Um, and then I kind of didn't do it as a serious thing. Picked one up and just rode it around the streets for a bit, and then found out I had a local skate park. Mate took me there one day, and after that, Stop. I just got hooked. Yeah. Like, oh wow, I have a local. <laughs> <laughs> Never knew that just was there. Found out. <laughs> they don't tell the skaters about this. Yeah, yeah. like, like when I skateboarded, we were just always in Sydney City, Sydney City all the time. So. Just cruising on the streets. Yeah. That's the way we used to do it. Old school skating. We didn't have those fancy skate parks. <laughs> Or scooters. Yeah, or scooters for that. Oh yeah, we have one like this. This is what we had. OG. Yeah, OG. Um, Alright, uh, you're sponsored by Grit. Yeah, Grit Australia. Yeah, and uh, so is uh, Jake Hershey here. Uh, just want to throw that shout out. Um, so, you went to Camp Woodward about a month ago. Yeah. Uh, went up there, you went as a, a work or just to go as a... a um, I was meant to be going as an instructor, uh, sorry, a counsellor. Um, and I got changed to be an instructor, so I had my own cabin with like a few of the other boys, um, a few skaters as well that was there, just like working. And then I had my own kids to coach through the day. I had two groups, an AM and a PM. And yeah, I just had that for a week. It was the most amazing experience I've ever had. Was it? Yeah. How did you like the kids, man? Were they? The kids I had were really, really good to get along with. They, were, they weren't the youngest kids, but they weren't the oldest. Um, it was amazing to see their reactions to see when I said I was from Australia and after that it was just non-stop coaching, can we go there, can we go here, there was no hustle at all, I didn't have to like be strict on anyone, right. they knew what was going down, so and of I course, had... Perry was the counselor, so the, you know, they didn't learn anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one who's the cool counselor, you know, <laughs> whatever, man, I'm over here. you need anything, I'm over here. <laughs> awesome, yeah. man, awesome. Um, I'm right, so you... the phone for <laughs> <laughs> Taking a nap. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's great. Uh, what do you think of Cam? What do you think of Woodward? It's the place itself, man. Woodward is the best environment I have ever been to. It, the night I got there, I rocked up at one o'clock in the morning, so I had some time to myself to just look around and see what it's like. As soon as morning came, I kind of got nervous, like what's going on? Am I meant to be here? Sort of. I knew no one. I had another kid that came from Sydney that was a camper, but like he wasn't there at the time. I didn't know anyone. As soon as I started meeting people, it was the most, it just all sunk in, I didn't want to go home. Right. Like, the food was amazing, the kids were amazing, just the environment of it, I couldn't change anything about it. Awesome, man. Well, I guess it's a little intimidating. I mean, you're in a new country, a new place. Yeah. You know, and you know, scooterized, I can imagine. But uh, it looks like you just stepped right up and uh, fit right in, man. Yeah. And uh, did it. Yeah. Sure, man. Didn't want to leave. 
Didn't want to leave. Yeah, he's been here. Well, that's it. I mean, he did. He did woodwork, camp woodwork. Jake said, "Hey, watch come me. Don't go home." Uh, Perry said, "You don't want to go home." No. Uh, Perry wants to stay here, become an American. <laughs> Uh, vote Republican. Uh, uh, so, uh, good old Jake said, hey man, why don't you come with me for a month and we'll cruise and we'll do a tour. Yeah, Jake, we, we we'll, we'll tell him, man, what did you guys do, man? Well, we started off, we went back to my house for like a day. And then we slept for maybe three hours and then it was midnight and we're like, all right, we're driving to Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Drove straight, didn't get there till like six in the evening and uh, we stayed at my girlfriend's house. And, it was just a great time. We stayed for about a week. We went to the skate parks. He did a flare on a sketchy wooden ramp and he got stitches in his butt. <laughs> had to take him to the hospital. Get did some, you really? Get yeah, some really, goes, really that bad, man? Him. His butt's all stitched up. They had, to, they had to cut it open. He had twins. But it was a big ordeal. <laughs> It was the most uh, painful thing I've probably ever gone through. Uh, I, I, I could imagine a little homily, you know. Yeah. Oh. Nurses are back there, you yeah. know. Well, they kept asking me, do I need a wheelchair? I told them I couldn't sit down. Yeah, right. The whole way driving there, I'm lucky I'm convertible. I'm playing it halfway out the <laughs> way. <laughs> like, no, don't do it, don't do it. Holy Perry, I think I'm going the wrong way. No! Awesome, man. And then after that, we drove back off the coast and did a tour. We went to the legendary Kona Skate Park. Oh, then uh, we went to Chris Barnicki's house on Blue Scooters and did up Skate Park in Greenville and then Charm City Skate Park. And uh, after that, we went over to Detroit, flew out there for the weekend and did a ride day at Transition Grand Park, which is the best park I've ever been to in my life. Oh, <laughs> I want to move there just for the park. For sure. And then uh, we went to Changa, which was interesting. Just see a bunch of kickbusses everywhere, <laughs> and uh, no, it was fun. And knee pads. Then we came back to my house, chilled a couple days, and hanging out in Delaware, and then going to Incon for his farewell session. You guys were on an excellent yeah. adventure. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. I tell you, it sounds and the great. Day after man. he leaves, I'm going to Vegas for Interbike. That's coming up too, <laughs> yeah. right? Are oh, you yeah. doing announcing there? No, it's uh, like a big uh, bicycle convention. Oh, they're not having like any kind of. No, they do like demos and stuff for the products, but it's basically like. All the bike companies and some. So you're gonna be there on grid style. Yeah. All right, gotcha. Uh, as you guys know, uh, Jake is uh, ISA announcer, uh, world famous announcer. Uh, he is, and he does our comps. Uh, at this time, I'd like to do a shameless plug for our comp coming up October 5th, Endless Summer 2013. It's going to be at Black Diamond. Uh, got a lot of great uh, sponsors who helped us out. Inward. Uh, Inward good. Scooters is one of our uh, co-sponsors. Always so. They, yeah, they really stepped up. Uh, Phoenix, uh, uh, Grit, uh, uh, Sacrifice, too many to mention. Yeah. And but, I can't, you know, you always do a great job with that. It's always a good turnout, so if you can come out October 5th. Don't have to be the best rider, just get down there, have some fun, yeah. get some prizes. Absolutely, man. And just, Giveaways all day. Yeah, all, I mean, just like day. Perry said, and Jake, you really don't have to, you know, worry about competing, man. It's all about a jam, having a good time, riding with some scooters that you wouldn't have to chase, scooters you wouldn't have to chase ride with, you know. Your friends, the pro riders, right on. people from all over the place. It's just yeah. a great day. Yeah. It's just a great day. Um, all right, uh, you know, it's really been great interviewing you. I got to tell you, man, it's you're really a great, great. Uh, Some amazing shot you got here. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. I really do. Uh, you know, uh, you said you've been to California, but this is your first time on the East Coast? Yeah, first time. And uh, what do you think of the East Coast? It's amazing, um, except for the park when I first got here, starting with the weather, coming back from Australia with just pure rain, very cold nights and days, um, and then just coming straight into like a massive heat wave. It just yeah. killed me waking up sweating right. and everything. It was killer, it was killer in the summer. Man. Now I'm used to the weather, it going back home to summer, it. so. We stayed at somebody's house and it was really hot. Oh, good for Nick. Oh, we woke up no like, covered in sweat and like yeah. one room didn't have air and that's where we that's stayed. That's where we stayed. <laughs> <laughs> put all the guests <laughs> in the hot house. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, listen again, man, it's really been great. Jake, do you have any last words for the people out there? Have some fun when you're riding. That's all I gotta say. That's it, man. Too many kids are out to try to get know, spot, try to get sponsored, try to make some money. But to me, I've been riding for 11 years, and I couldn't care if I was getting paid or if I was yeah. living on the street. I'd right still on, be man. doing it. Yeah. Have fun doing it. Just have some fun. Perry, how about you, man? Um, yeah, same thing with what he said. If someone's doing something that you don't want to do, for instance, you see a lot of people these days that want to ride street. You do whatever you want. Don't do it. 
like they want you to do because that's just not you. Follow what you love. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, follow Barking Spider on Facebook and Instagram. You want me? Hurry, thank you, bro. I appreciate you coming thank out. You me. Always a pleasure. Mr. Hirsch, you're the best. Any final words, Rats the Nana? Hey, man. <laughs> oh, stop that with that dirty talk. Man. We got kids out there. All right, guys, hey, listen again. Barky Spider 2013 Inward, uh, Endless Summer Scooter Comp. Hope to see you guys here. Thanks.